Hi everyone, I'm Justin D. Roy, joined by my security, Mike. Um, and we are finally back for some, uh, more uh, High Five Reaction Smowdown Reactions. And this is a special one that I know we're way behind on getting to, but I had to do the celebrity one because it's involving one of my favorite like horror franchise, um, The Evil Dead. Or more specifically, it's going to involve the cast from Ash vs. The Evil Dead, a hilarious show on stars that I can't wait to get a chance to check out the third season of. But yeah, we got Bruce Campbell is actually going to be one of the commentators on this. And these guys, two co-stars actually competing in this. Um, again, sorry that we're getting to this so late though, because um, fortunately, Michael and his new job is um, making it harder for us to get in to do videos. And he's living the limelight, getting super popular out there in the security biz. Uh, and he just super can't... Popular. He can't make time for, like, uh, doing silly little uh, reaction videos anymore. But I uh, sat him down and forced him, twisted his arm, and says, we're going to do this. We or, owe it to Bruce Campbell to give tribute to the Evil Dead franchise to do a reaction video for this one. Really? He said he was going to fire me? <laughs> but he can't fire me because I'm 50% fucking owner of this channel? So, ah! <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> All right, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into this. And not only is Bruce I should Campbell try to get in contact with uh, Bruce Campbell's people, see if he needs security. Today, <laughs> here to do the what are you talking about? Bruce showdown. Campbell needs other, security. The man can handle it himself. himself. I'm not saying for him, per, like, to protect him. I'm saying to protect other people. <laughs> Kind of makes me wish that we could have him introduce everybody all the time. I wonder how much it's costing him just to have him on right now. <laughs> we he wouldn't just do this so the, the oh my god she's got the ash he slash he pump it I want one. Literally, I just told Michael today, I found out that they're selling those and she can get them now. They're like, oh, I know what you're giving me for my birthday next year, then. <laughs> it's just lost its legs. We're not a shared universe yet. Poltergeist and Ash vs. Evil Dead. Frankly, I'm not sure why that's here. I don't know. I think she's kind of hot myself. There is Ashley Slashy. appropriate for this game. That would be Ashley Slashy, I know. Yeah, I said it was Ashley Slashy. Ashley Slashy. Dan and Ray, it is so nice to have you guys joining us here for the celebrity match. How do you guys feel about your your horror movie trivia skills? Are you are you excited going into this matchup? Are you a little nervous? Huh? Estoy listo. Oh, he's ready. Hey guys. I'm ready is what he said. Understand it. That's a big ass cuff from Panera. I'm terrible at trivia. You I see get that? anxiety. I do know horror, but you know what I'm really good at? Talking smack! Oh. Mother! Oh. So that's what I'm looking most forward to is the smack talk. And today. So talk is very Especially cheap. You. Uh, so, on. Uh, hey, Sean Schnepp wants to move the action right to the matchup, Jesus and we are Christ, happy. Christ, what the to hell is that? Like a 52 ounce cup? In round Seems one, like you it, will geez. hear eight questions. You are allowed to Jesus confer Christ. with your teammates. How much fucking nice TV you need? Once you think you know the answer, please write down your best guess on the whiteboard provided to you. If you want to write it down, your teammate wants to write it down. You okay, know it looks like he has water in there, but at some point in time, he got a drink from Venera that filled that thing up. So. Same time you verbalize it into the microphone. Each question in round one is worth one point. There's no penalty by for the missing way, a question. By the way, you're speaking to actors, <laughs> so you, you might have to dumb this down. A <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, aren't you the star actor of Ash? I'm the dumbest of all. <laughs> well, if you're the dumbest of all, Bruce, we may have made a mistake here because we actually have you administering the questions for round one. That's so. right, Bruce. Are you he up for it? Not read. Without further ado, I printed this out in extra big bold type. <laughs> do as I say, not as I okay, do. Okay, and don't, by the way, make sure he doesn't cheat on the 
of questions because I have a feeling he might try and change something. Look at his little smile. Look Duly his, noted. I know, Duly I noted. I'm over years. His, Dana, I'm over his shoulder. I'll Thank make you. sure it's on the Don't level. Okay. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> 80s horror. What is the name of the main villain in the Hellraiser franchise? Oh my god, really? Do you even super easy ones? Pinhead. You know, I always feel like the lead for the slaughter once you really do dump them down. Exactly. What's the Highwayman? answer? Who's got the right huh? answer? Flip it! I just got a casting call for... All right, flip it. We're going to where Bruce has called it. A, something called Highwaymen starring uh, yeah. with Kevin right. Costner. You guys have Pinhead as well. Costner and Woody oh, Harrelson. All right. One, we'll two, that. one. We're yeah. off and running. So, oh. and we're going into question two. Bruce, how about it? Remember that one thing that I, I signed up for? Well, they the apparently just did it free. What is Sigourney Weaver's character's name in the Alien franchise? Ripley. Don't shout it out. Ellen Ripley, I now. think. Tick tock. Tick tock. Right. We got it! All right. We're going to go right. to the Boomsticks first. Who had the right answer? John Schnapp, you are a part of the Boomsticks and you're holding the whiteboard. Flip it! That is correct. Correct. We got Ripley, all right. Ding, 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 ding. And they okay. had both names. Ellen Ripley, full name, all right. Still only good for one point, but it is a tie at two. I definitely came cool. up with Cool. Question number three. Category Bruce Campbell films. If you don't what? get this right, I'll personally punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Which famous person did Bruce portray in the film Bubba Hotel? Elvis Presley. I was going to say it like, oh no, I might be screwed on this because I've only seen mostly his uh, Evil Dead films for his film uh, career. Elvis. Knocked it out of the park. Elvis. Team Boomstick. Ah. Thank you. Thank you very much. They copy. They got they it. They copy. Okay. Still I know three fucking Schnepp knew what that is. I've heard me mention that movie several four. times on the show. Category, 90s horror. Mm -hmm. Name one of the four leads from 1997's I Know What You Do. Oh, um, summer. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Jennifer Love Hewitt. I can name Jennifer Sarah Love Michelle Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Freddie Prince Jr. Okay. <laughs> Well, there we go. And, uh, I can't think of any other ones. I know there's at least on the one or two more. You know what? Here's how the game. Here's how the game works. Is that sometimes <laughs> one of our announcers is just so courteous that they're going to extend a free point because he loves each one of these yeah. teams. However, no. however, here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to give you guys each a point for that. But I'm also going to say he only read off two names. Can either team name, and go ahead and write it down on your whiteboard, can either team name Whoa. one of the male stars? Yes. One of the two male stars. I can't remember the other one. That was just French Prince Jr. I can't first, think of the other male can. star. And that's what you get for giving us smack, boss. Okay, in five, four, three, two, what the fuck two is in that? one. We'll go to the Deadites first. Freddie Prince Jr. That is correct. Oh, that's correct. Sa! They got it. Ah! Ah! If I had a nickel for every time I gave away an answer on the show, Bruce, you are now in the great company Aww. of Mark Ellis. And now that is five points apiece because you guys each got the bonus point as well. So it is Thank five you. to five. I have to go on to our next category. The question number five. Category thrillers. Which Alfred Hitchcock thriller is about a beach community suddenly besieged Birds. by killer animals? Yeah. I won't read it's good, because I, I always mess these up when I play on the game. Yeah. I can, And I always usually guess the birds, despite the fact it's almost never the birds. Because <laughs> it's one of the few that it's I actually really know. It's true. <laughs> What's the answer? Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let's go to the, uh, the boomsticks. Los Pajaros! Ah, it right. is the birds. the birds. They get a point. Deadites. The birds. Avione. And we're back to being tied again. <laughs> six to six. Deadites <laughs> and boomstick. <laughs> Keeping it close. The what tension we... is unbelievable, <laughs> Wait, George. When are we going to start can playing the game? Can you read the next one? <laughs> read the next one in the voice of, of, of every voice you've ever done? Please, and... boss, read it in the voice yeah. I like. Oh. <laughs> the special or, voice I like. Or the fans that, or the star's voice. Can I just say something? Please. Um, <laughs> as actors, we have a lot of spare time on set. Uh, they they think that things that they say are funny. Uh, I usually retort in some dispiriting way, and it usually <laughs> stops the conversation. But anything that I were to say now, it's just like kind of like the other day, frivolity, 
my boss Nick was saying that he needs to get a tool. I just okay. And as I, my other boss was walking by, Caleb I was like, "Oh, it's right here." <laughs> by the way, guys, he did say frivolity, so he he actually is not stupid. Down by six. Here comes the voice. The Evil Dead franchise. Gary Granite is his name. The Evil Dead franchise. What is Ash's last name? And the Evil Dead. Are you serious? That's the question, yeah. We're throwing it out there. Riley, would you have gotten this answer? Extra five dollars for the middle initial. Ooh. That's five dollars from your pocket. That's correct. Not from our do budget. Know, what if do we know the full middle name? Five, yes. Four, Fuck. Three, two, I don't know. Extra five dollars. It does appear Dana has a bead <laughs> on it. Uh, we'll go to the Deadites first. Your answer is Ashley. J for Jackass Williams. Hey. Is that true for five dollars? The J is correct. The Jackass she can show. Oh. <laughs> that is good for a point of possibly five dollars from Bruce Campbell's own personal stash. And now we go to the boomsticks. Oh. Ashley Williams. Oh, they got it well. there. All right, so here is the slate we have so far. Damn, it's the only one I missed. Round one. Each team yeah. currently has seven points. If you guys get the next two questions right, there's a bonus question that we will ask because you got a perfect score. So without further ado, Mr. Williams. Question number seven, the category is action horror. Who plays Van Helsing in the 2004 action horror fantasy film Van Wolverine. Helsing? Hugh Jackman. I don't think but you might as well read those, just Wolverine. It's a good movie. Is it? No. No. <laughs> not good. And it's not just I was going to say, he's joking about that. You know, I don't think it's a terrible movie yeah. myself. Yeah. Whoopsie! I also don't think it's a great movie. But. Three, two, one. And we have to put down the pens. Put down the pens. Snap. Team Boomstick. Your answer? It's a squiggly line. They did not yeah. get a point I for this. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. What? No, that is shocking. shocking. Was with it. Get really? Is it, it really get that bad? It didn't even bother to see it? Like, there's like a, there's like a, there's like a uh, hanging fastball. Oh, yeah, you, that thing, you I'm just right, put you it on a Wait, I remember now. Can I write it down? No, you cannot. Hey! No, but you know the Dead Eyes. Dead Eyes. Jack Hugeman. Very close uh, enough. Hugh Jackman, it is written. Okay, we will take that. All right. All right, so Hugh Jackman, despite the fact that Bruce did give you, like he said, a hanging fastball right over the plate, could not knock that one out of the park. We have one more question in round one. Uh, Team Deadites, if you guys get this one correct, you alone will receive the bonus question, sir. Question number eight, category, modern horror. Who plays Patrick Bateman in American Psycho? Oh, who I ask you? Confirm. They are writing on the white. I can't even so. get this one wrong. The, the answer isn't even there. They're, oh, they're, they're talking about the so new no, one. Like, that's the TV show. Can't the answer. No, we didn't choose. Right, I thought they were talking about four, the newest five, movie. That's um, two, Vince Vaughn, but down. the TV show. I don't know. To the Deadites. Christian Bale. Give Christian them a point. Bale is and correct. And we go to the boomsticks. I'm Bateman. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a Batman playing American Psycho. Oh, that man. is a great round. By oh, American Psycho. Never mind. It was bested by I the thought I just heard Psycho. Perfect round. Uh, perfect but round still, it said 2005 to 2015. And now we have your bonus question. This is just to you. So, Boom Six, you guys can take five. Smoke if you got them. Your question, Team Deadites. Oh, maybe it just meant like How movies from that type of. Really? It's that new? I thought that movie was older than that. Franchise. Is that the one where you got all six? Is that the one where you got all skinny and shit? Well, no, that's the machinist. No, yeah. American Psycho is where he's just supposed to be some psychotic yuppie that takes people back to his apartment and fucking murders them, but then the ending's confusing because it makes it seem like it was all in his head. Damn it! I guess one more than there is. I didn't so even watch like at least the last two of them, so I don't know the last track. To round two, and Bruce, I think we're seeing a lot of ability out of both of your co-stars in the show. Yeah, we're seeing something. Mm -hmm. A lot of bull is what I'm seeing. <laughs> now, all right. Competitors, in round two, here's how it works. Each team gets one spin at the wheel. If you're not, if you don't like the category you spun, which I can't imagine it given this very special customized wheel for this match that features a whole lot of a certain famous actor, you don't like the that you can spin again. Oh God, what do they do? Whatever category it lands on, 
Each team gets six questions, okay? So you'll get six questions from your category, and then the Boomsticks will get six questions from their category. The questions in this round are worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can, you can ask for multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. I want you all to keep this in mind. There is stealing available in round two. So if we ask the dedicates a question and they don't know it, you guys can steal it. You have to wait until they answer incorrectly. All right, so yeah. Deadites, you guys are in the lead. Would you prefer to spin right now, or would you like to let the boomstick spin first? All right, we're going to spin the wheel. They're going to spin have the, the wheel, wheel Dana. Dana. That is a good strategy I've no always whammy, employed. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> there it is. No whammy. Let's see, Evil Dead and Bruce Campbell. There is a Bruce Campbell was... wedge on the wheel. Oh, 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 and it's looking like... Oh! Eighties horror movies is your category. Would you like to stick with it or spin again? Not, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> We're gonna stick with it. Oh. <laughs> that way, it pressures. Begrudgingly, on you. Dana sticks with it. All right, and we're gonna go right to eighties horror movies. <laughs> Okay, which uh, is my favorite. Mark Riley will be administering the questions for 80s horror, which uh, Whitney probably alive in that decade more so than Dana, mm -hmm. thus his confidence in the category. Oh, oh. No All right. Don't blow it. Deadites, are you ready? <laughs> yes, we're ready. Ready, Deadites. Yes. Okay, your first question. Who played the father, Steve Freeling, in 1982's Poltergeist? Oh, God. It's the guy from Coach. I don't remember. Bruce knows it. Bruce is going to play along. What's his name? I think yeah. Bruce is going to. Before? Oh, yeah. After. Before? After. Oh, no, before? That's not right. Five. Five. After. Four. Okay, yeah, we got it. Three. You got it? Two. You, sure? you don't have to write this down. Oh, okay, you guys okay. can just answer. I just was like, yeah. No, you say it. Craig T. Nelson. That is correct for two yeah. points. Who else had Craig T. Nelson? Mr. Bruce Campbell. Bruce is playing along, just like everybody at home. Showing you how good I am here, that's all. Don't All like right, to, uh, Deadites, show up my cohort. How does he know Ready what for question played two? Oh, Is he psychic? That's all you. Yeah, we're, go, we're going through number two. In 1989's Pet Cemetery, Louis Creed discovers a cemetery that resurrects the dead. What family pet does he bury first to test? It's the cat. The cat. What's his name? It's the cat, though. We just need the, uh, oh, we just need the animal. That would be a better question if we knew the name. Okay. I don't. I just know it's the cat. It was hard. the cat. That is correct for two points. What was the cat's name, Dana? Pussy McPusterson. That's incorrect. I know, <laughs> okay. I know the cat's name, do you? What's the cat's name? It was Church. Thank you. I'm here all <laughs> week. Right. I did the other. The answer, right. Dana, was Church. <laughs> is that real? That's it's for real, real, yeah. I thought you just told me I needed to go there. <laughs> if I were you guys, if this was my game, I'd take a couple points away. <laughs> you are, for general you? insubordination. It's a, it's a fair point, but we'll move on to three. You question to three. Deadites, are you ready for your question yes, number three? we're ready. In 1988's Child's Play, Charles Ray Lee gets turned into a murderous doll that goes by what name? Chucky. Chucky! Yeah. It's easy as shit. It's, it's the name of the fucking title character. The fucking... Like, I know, like, the first three were Child's Play, but every movie afterwards, it's... His name's on the title. I would love to see that. Please make that happen, Dana. All right, we're moving on to question four. Who directed Jeff Goldblum in 1986's The Fly? Uh, Tim Burton. I don't think so. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, scannering my answers here. And, uh, oh, you're like, playing that. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you here. did there. So your answer? This is David Cronenberg. That's correct. It's Another David Cronenberg. two points. I, I, that where I, were you in college when I had to take all these the table. Okay. All right, and uh, I would like to point out at this point of the match, there's two questions left for you guys in round two. So far, you are throwing a perfect game. Overall, we've never had a perfect game. Don't jinx it. On any movie trivia. Show. I'm an announcer. You you guys just shouldn't talk about it with each other. Oh, two they're going to praise him for doing right, so well with a perfect game. In 1987's The that Lost Boys, Michael that would becomes a that. vampire by doing what? Partying too hard. Drinking their blood, the vampire blood. I think, right? Both in the ballpark. Meth. 
Not even once. Pretty sure that's how it is the most. Four, three. <laughs> he was by party. One, your answer. Team yeah, but I think it's but yeah, they tricked him into drinking the blood because he put yeah. it into a chalice yeah. and made him think it was liquor. But Alvin <laughs> cover, interesting but incorrect. Okay, so now we you can right. steal this. This is a big steal. Uh, multiple choice. You can't go to multiple choice if they didn't. Uh, so you have to guess out of the blue, unfortunately. Can you repeat the question? We certainly can. In 1987's The Lost Boys, Michael becomes a vampire by doing what? One of their JT rules that they took. He drinks the, the, their blood, the vampire's blood. For stars. I'm really certain of this. Four, three, two, one. Final answer, Boomsticks. Mm, uh, surfing. Incorrect as well. I'm sorry, we were looking for... Was it farting? Drinking blood, as vampires are yep. wont to do. Yep. And that I thought this was Clamato. What's a Clamato with you? <laughs> All right, we didn't we didn't run the table there. Sorry, Mr. Ellis probably jinxed you, Dana, as you said. Yeah, maybe Seriously. Happy you were about. There was something to that jinx, perhaps. All right, we are going to the last question. That was an easy one. 1980s. <laughs> Horror movies. This has all been really easy for that one. Just so obvious for vampires. Jesus Jack fucking Christ. Boy. Yeah. All work and no play. Makes Jack a dull boy. Although, I, okay, I want to say, but then you have to do your Jack Nicholson impression. Um, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That is correct wow. for two Or you points. can say all work. Fucking no play. There it is. Makes Jack a fucking dull boy. <laughs> That's three points right there. I don't think he's that, fucked Campbell though. That. Points of anybody in this round. Because Who was playing along with because us right Christ now? Because Christ Almighty, Stan, how many fucking takes do you want to do on me chopping through the fucking bathroom door? <laughs> that was maybe the best Nicholson. I've seen them all, kids. That might be the best Nicholson impression of the bunch. And I don't know how the Boomsticks are going to follow that, but you guys need to get some points. Now, mathematically, you can end up tying them by the end of this round if you pitch a perfect round two. In order to do that, we would need Ray to spin that wheel and get a category you want. And we would most importantly need them to know more. <laughs> that checks out, Bruce. Bruce Campbell. Oh, that was a really weak ass right, fucking we in spin. On thriller. Oh. Thriller. You want to spin again, or do you like staying on Thriller? Wait, Boring. Boring category. Yeah, go again. Spin again, again, everybody. They are yeah, get the Bruce Campbell. I'm just curious what they have with it. Big spin. <laughs> Because <laughs> this is it, right? Again. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. Whatever you land on, you're no, stuck with. No, 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 no. And you know they want that Bruce Campbell yes. category yes. more than anything. That's still kind of weak, though. Could, uh, oh. 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 oh! God damn it! They land. Oh, this is a strength for John Schnapp. John Carpenter films. That's the a thing. good spin. This is yeah, a they really huge they love. turn of events because John Schnepp does not celebrate about a lot of things. But when he spins John Carpenter, whether it's the real guy or just a wedge in his honor, he gets excited. A warning. Mm -hmm. I was in Escape from L.A., Mother Scratcher. Oh, I know. You That's were the surgeon. Were. So don't try and pull something fancy on me. Not trying to. Were you in Escape from L.A.? Yeah, I think yeah. I was. <laughs> yes, he was! Yes. Good night, everybody. Yes, he was! <laughs> oh, hey. Alice. Hey, have the evil dead guys on our show. We know all about their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, Escape from L.A. like 80 times because I heard He seems really actually generally annoyed that he did know he was in that movie. Oh, shit, that was funny. Awesome. Just done by the great Rick Baker, that's yeah, all. Just Rick Baker. Yeah, just Rick Baker. Rick Baker, a legend of werewolves and Star Wars fame. Okay, we are going to go to John Carpenter is the spin, and your first question of six is, what actor was nominated for an Oscar in the movie Starman? And you don't have to write this one down. There's no spelling involved, Schnepper Ray. You can write it down if you want to. But you don't right. have to. We are writing it you down. Can, you can yeah. just confer. Where can I move? Name the actor who portrayed Ooh. Brian in Escape oh, from New you. York. Two points. Two points. a great impression. And two points for Bruce. That's who not is the question. Why? Yeah. They down. just asked, though. Okay. Your next question. A Plymouth Fury is a killer car in what movie? It would be called Christine. Oh, two not points. Him. Barely two seconds back. Good the answer. All right. huh. Okay, they are on the comeback trail. Your next <sighs> question is 
What words can often be seen when Nada uh, there puts we go. on the glasses in They Live? Reading a lot. Although, Bay! although he does oh, not have God. to write on the white. He doesn't he's, have to, but he prefers okay. to answer questions that way. It's just process. And we're going to allow him to find the white board. Might as well use it. They're and there's John Covering the movie. Uh, That's about it. <laughs> or at least a perfect round. Three more questions. I know. It started uh, uh, was it tied with Rowdy Rudy Piper? Is, which Baldwin the, brother the of the guy. famous Baldwin family portrays Tony Montoya in John Carpenter's? Vampire. Easy. Gummo. Gummo. Gummo Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah, he doesn't work. He's, he's, yeah. Oh, he's, uh, Billy. Very, he's the black sheep. I think it's of Billy the Baldwin. Yeah. They went with Gummo after all those normal names they had for their other. <laughs> uh, five, four. We're gonna go three, multiple choice. Two, multiple two, choice. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Yo, shut up. Well, yeah, it's I think it's Billy. Like this. Cause it's not, it's not Alec, and it's not uh, right. Stephen Baldwin. Mr. Right. Chair, did you see that? Multiple choices. I is it guess? A. Alec Baldwin? No. Is it B. Daniel Baldwin? Is it C. Billy Baldwin? Or is it D. Chili Willie Baldwin? Stephen Baldwin. Can we repeat them, please? Uh, a. Chili Alec Willie Baldwin. B. Daniel. Baldwin. C. Billy. Or D. Stephen. Okay, we need an answer. We're gonna go with Billy Baldwin. They are incorrect. incorrect. Really, it's Daniel? It's Daniel Baldwin. One that is point. shit. Three right. fucking Baldwins in that family, God. and too many. They're actors. No longer can they catch him and tie shit. up, and they just pulled ahead. And well, even after I eliminated Gummo off the list. Unbelievable. Man, you saw the most popular gave them that one. <laughs> there are only four Baldwins. I don't know all the Baldwins. God, man. You gotta think about strategy. I'm John Stepp, like not reading about the People magazine. Your next question. It's hilarious, but it seems like he's getting annoyed. Uh, <laughs> Baldwin questions. This definitely does not involve a Baldwin. It does involve a member of the Brimley family. Wilford Brimley plays the role of Blair in what? John Carpenter fan favorite. That would be called The Thing. Two points. That's correct. Two points. Back on the winning side. And Should've they just could really use one more correct answer. And luckily, we have one more question for them to achieve just that goal. Your last question in round two to get within three points of the Titans known as the Deadites. Name the actor who portrayed Brain in Escape from New York. This is the one that was the first Two one points. they did. Wow. Deep cut pulls it out. Look at that. Oh. And a fun fact. I didn't hear the New answer. York is oh. actually the prequel to the Bruce Campbell classic, Escape from L.A. Woohoo! That's true. Uh, that is the end of round two. And we have a barn burner on our hands. Man. Thanks to a great performance by both the Deadites and the Boomstick. It is 21 to 18. Unbelievable. Bruce, this is going into the last round now. Uh, who do you see coming out on top? Um, well, at this point, I think what's important is that they understand the, necess the necessity of the color commentator. Mm. Uh, the role of the com color commentator is really much more important than the contestant. Because mm. you'll be gone next week, I'll still be here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter either of them. If I showed favoritism, I would hear it on the set, and they're already very difficult to work with. The very fair <laughs> answer there, Brian. Right. Uh, uh, honest and to the point, I like it. Uh, Bruce Campbell doing two things, dodging my question, also solidifying a permanent spot here on the announcer good, desk. Good, so, good, well done right there. And what we So, if we get canceled, is <laughs> get back here. <laughs> you come on back we anytime. Got spot <laughs> Just so we could read more answers. As it almost makes me want to see them get canceled. That's, that's, that's a good one. I come back but no. Deadites, because you all are in the lead, you get to select your number first. Here's how round three works. It's very simple. Each team is going to give us a series of numbers that range from 1 to 20. It could be 1, 2, 3. It could be 4, 5, 10. It could be 11, 13, 15. Whatever your three lucky numbers range from 1 to 20 are. Those numbers all correspond to a category up here at our answer desk. You're going to be answering questions from three different categories. Okay? So, Deadites, you can select your numbers first. How many numbers do we pick? Uh, three that range from one to two. <laughs> she Joel Fisher and Bruce? Uh, we're going to choose one, two, and three. Oh, the big that's, that's, that's just right that's off so the bat. Original. Original. Those are my lucky numbers. That's I hit them awesome. off a roulette all the time. How did I you come up with that? 
I'm not telling you my strategy for my lucky numbers. <laughs> Let's see if the boom. All right, oh, we're going to be there in just a moment. Thank you. What is the three numbers you uh, like That's her, uh, <laughs> our assistant. She got us some beverages. All right, all right. change it up a bit. Because, uh, yeah. Well, that's uh, important that we have our own personal system that goes out and first gets us beverages when we request them. Because we're also bougie as fuck. Is worth three points, and the last question is worth five points. As soon as it's one way too much math. is mathematically eliminated, <laughs> the game is over, and we will declare a winner. Deadites are not up yet. Boomsticks, your first category for two points. You selected number 11. That is in the category of Mr. Steven Spielberg movies. Spielberg! <laughs> just verbal, you guys can get, but you guys don't need to weigh in on this. This is just for the boomsticks. And your question is, what is the name of Laura Dern's character in Jurassic Park? We just need the first name. We just need the first name. We will accept the last name as well. I do not know. Two points. You have right is it Laura? Seconds, That'd be convenient. Three, Dana, it's three, one. And we need an answer. Uh, we wrote down doctor. Because we did not know. She is a doctor! So she is. That, that would be her first name, technically. Yeah. Doctor. It's more of a prefix I'm than sorry, a what, name. her credits, if you look it up, it's Dr. whatever. But we were uh, looking for Dr. Ellie Sadler. Yes, Ellie Sadler. The answer. Oh, so, can, can you, as a color commentator, sometimes I comment on the rules of the game. Can you split their rewards? One got doctor, one got the first name. It was their question, and they got her wrong. Yes, they did. They did indeed get it wrong. I agree with Bruce Campbell on this. <laughs> no points awarded, unfortunately, Schnapp and Ray. What? You're winning fair and square, okay? This is this is not a cheat. Game. Ladies and gentlemen, and if you're, if you're that, joining us you're late, winning. not only do you have a great matchup going on right now, Bruce Campbell's color commentary career is in jeopardy. Stay <laughs> tuned. Your next question. If for I come back, the I want the ability to change the fucking rule. Okay. <laughs> you're not the first person to make that statement. You selected number 17 for your three-point question. Yes. That category corresponds to 1970s movies. Mm. 1970s oh, movies. Good. For three points. That wasn't born yet. Your question is, Brian. Ned Beatty, Ronnie Cox, Burt Reynolds, and John Boyd all take a ill-fated canoe trip in what Gator. movie? Oh no, Deliverance. We are like a pig, baby. Yep. We are tied at 21. That is cool. Damn it, it wasn't until he made the fucking banjo noise that I was like, oh wait. 21 points, and now nope. the action moves over to the Dennis because it's we'll be asking your two point question. For that, we go to the semi golden throat of Mark Yodi Riley. There we go. You had the numbers one, two, and three. Yeah. Category number one is in the category of Tom Cruise films. Tom Cruise. Oh, For two points, who plays the villainous arms dealer? Owen Davian in Mission Impossible 3. Oh, that's Phil um, Phil Seymour Hoffman. That is correct, Bruce. Uh, <laughs> that was to the dead eyes. That was to the dead eyes. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I was trying you to are, Your movie That's trivia right. knowledge is pretty damn right. good, I will say, though. The but I is good. Notice I did make the triangulation. Tom Cruise, Philip Seymour Hoffman. They were in a movie together. Mm. They could have been in two movies together. Do you want to switch and I'll do your job? You can be a competitor. That'd be fun. Let's do that. I think you really want to play the game. Get on the winning team. Get on the winning team, um, dude. Fortunately, we do need to stick with the rules. It's not okay, fair to the fans the answer, out there. So, so I say we answer here, here's what, another one. Here's what we'll do. As the closest Bruce thing... Stop trying lose. to change the rules, Dana. As the closest thing to Commissioner on the desk, I'm going to give you another Tom Cruise question of equal game challenge. Break. And your question is, name a movie that features both Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. Day. Yeah. Oh, is there more than big, one? A big clue. Oh, I know. Uh, he, he, he rides a motorcycle in it. <laughs> I said Vanilla Sky. Yes, hey, that's, that's correct. Points. Two points. Uh, I didn't know that. Right. Here's the trivia question you really want. Never seen that one. Tom but Nine Day is not another one. It is. Um, Legend. No, the one with... <laughs> no, not true. In the bloopers, he does. And um, uh, da na 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 the cocktail movie. What is it? 
Cocktail. Thank you. <laughs> the cocktail movie. <laughs> cocktail. Cocktail. That's the name of the fucking movie. <laughs> I want to set the table right now. If you're just joining us. On the movie trivia showdown celebrity, we have come down to the final question for the Boomsticks. If they get this right, we keep playing. If they miss it, then Team Deadites, Dana and Whitney, have won to ask. The last question to the Boomsticks is none other than Mr. Answer himself, Bruce Campbell. Don't read the answer, though. Just the question. The Partridge family. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. This is in the category Sorry, of... Sorry, that, that's your playlist. I'm musical. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, what we play after. Uh, we're musicals. Doing... Just that question Just that right one. there. And I'll cover up the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the category is musicals. Who played Fantine in 2012's Les Mis? Um, I think it's the female I'm lead, the and that's, uh... This is, Fuck, this what is your the name of the one it's chick from Catwoman? Uh, yeah, Josh Catwoman. John Snap got it! That's a what big... Say? Damn it! Five 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 points. So now we go back was I right? To the Deadites. You need to get at least your five Shit. Quarter, but before we get to that, I would like to go back, but then it ruin up uh, our tracking, so... You selected number two. Mark Damn it! At least stop talking about the answers. All right, Maybe gotcha. we'll go back after this, though. So Number two, me. in the category of classics, what legendary director of such classics as The Maltese Falcon and Key Largo also directed the 1982 adaption of Annie? I just saw the movie. Francis Corpola? I don't yes, know. Okay, that's what I, yes. I got it. John Huston. That's correct yeah. for three <laughs> points. <laughs> Bruce Campbell agrees that it is right. The Deadites just have... Saw the Tied the game. Oh my god! It all comes down so to So now this. we can go into oh. either so they again, can win with the next one or we go right, into sudden death. Wrong, we move on to Jinx. overtime. God, I hope they get it right, I Bruce. Hope they do. Bruce, here's your question. Mm -hmm. Wait, That's the one. You do not get another question. For five. What do you do if you go into sudden death? The category is westerns. Ooh. Oh god. What was the third and final film to be released in Sergio Leone's legendary The Man With No Name Spaghetti Western film in that trilogy? For a few dollars Sergio more? Sergio Leone. Long, lingering close-ups of Henry Fonda's blue eyes. What? The good, the bad, and the other. Uh, it's the good, the bad, and the hey, lady! Uh, and hey, you're a winner! Say my name? <laughs> Okay, Mike. Thank you. You jinxed me. Oh. <laughs> Who can tell me where that's from? Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. Ah! Not supposed to say it! Why you It's for them! You know, what people that know that you're a fan? Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much, Bruce. I had all the answers. He knew the answers. Actually did have all the answers. Make sure that you guys catch Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3 on Star. There'll be a killer mascot in that one. You know, oh my god, you know what that looks exactly like? Remember there's an episode of Family Guy where he's like fucking Larry the No Late Litter Cougar? Yeah. That looks exactly like that. Oh my god. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun, guys. Um, you know, the celebrity ones are some of my favorite ones to watch and comment on. That's why, despite we're like almost two weeks behind in doing this one, uh, I definitely need to go. And it was definitely worth watching. Just Bruce Campbell's commentary was just fucking hilarious. Yeah. You know, he's probably up there. Besides, gosh, I can't think of his name. One of the guys that's they always have come in the guest hosts on uh, the Collider is probably the person with the most fucks on the show so far. Because uh, usually most people know better <laughs> than the guests on the show because it's mostly family friendly. Yeah. Ours isn't, so I can say fuck, 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 fuck me, fuck, fuck. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, YouTube. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Ooh, demonetize this? We don't get that anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed, um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, to subscribe, we will actually have a link. Oh, and look, I actually pointed the right direction today. Um, first time I've done a few, uh, few weeks now. Um, 
But yeah, there'll be a link right there to uh, subscribe to this channel, as well as up here, if you like fun sci-fi time travel flicks, I have my link to the short film, Time Travel Sucks, up there. Please watch it and let me know what you think. Um, also, I know we keep on saying this in every video for the last few weeks now, but this time for sure, very soon, we'll start actually having videos on our Twitch channel coming up because we actually put together this profile. Which just so happens to be the same name as our... Adults Only Gaming. Yeah. But yeah, they'll, yeah, we'll make sure that we, uh, you know, tweet out and share on Facebook the times and when we'll be, uh, we'll be doing that. And they should be coming soon, probably maybe actually sometime this week. But I know I've been saying that for a while now. But maybe this time for sure because we actually have a profile. Yep. But yeah, that's it for us today. Goodbye.